character. You know, he was just I was gonna take this from the film and uh, bounce back later. Is it reassurance? I mean, coming in that you can play and compete with any team in the league. Yeah, I mean, any given Sunday, man. We, you know, we don't we don't go out there purposely just to like you know, lose or anything. It's just you know, it's, it's, it's just the NFL, man. You know, every team is is uh, any given Sunday, so you know, you got to uh, take some of the chin and bounce back. What was DQ's message for you guys after the game? Uh, he's just challenging us, you know, as a team, um, as coaches. I'm just challenging us as a team. This the, this the type of game we're going to be in. So, you know, get used to the environment and, you know, we'll never have to fight. Offensively, we were still on it. There wasn't a dip or anything like that. Like, again, we still have, we still have a, that guy in the back. So, like, we just know as a whole line, especially that if we give him some time, he can, he can still make some really special plays. So, uh, like I said, we got, we got things to, to fix up and clean up and, and work on, but like, you know, it's, it's, I'm still, I still have a lot of belief in this team. For sure. Speaking of Jane, it seemed like he wasn't able to make as many big running plays today. Why do you think that was? You know, they did, they did a good, good job of, you know, tracking him, seeing where he was. I mean, um, spying him, you know. Um, they did a really good job in that aspect. So props to them. Great scheme. Great, great, great aspect in that. So, um, you know, just like I said, you know, they're a good football team. You know? they, 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 did, they did a good job. So. How physical was that game? It seemed like a lot of big hitting. Uh, yeah, it was real physical out there. Uh, you know, we, we knew they was going to bring that toughness uh, to the game, and we had to be tough too as well. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, they was a little bit tougher for the longest for all four quarters. And we just had to find a way to finish. How do you guys balance a well-fought game but still a loss kind of moving forward? Uh, just go back and uh, look at the film, see what we did wrong, make corrections, and just go on to the next week. What would you think of Jaden in, in a tough environment? I mean, he's, he's still doing good. You know, at the end of the day, we still learning. You know, that was probably one of the toughest games this year uh, so far. Uh, we got plenty more to come, so that was a great one to start. You know, just to see where we can be at and where we at. So, just had to go back in the lab and we start again. Is, is it tough when you guys can't get the run game going and kind of got to lean on the pass the whole game? Uh, I would say so. Uh, we always want to be balanced. You know, especially with the guys that we have. So at the end of the day, uh, we want to try to be up and not down. So you know, we can keep that balance and keep us going. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I'm Thanks. going into the season. A lot of people talk about the Ravens as a Super Bowl contender. Obviously, um, Lamar's had his MVP caliber season. I mean, you guys went toe to toe with them and he didn't win today. But do you feel like today's performance shows that you guys belong in some of these conversations? Yeah, I think we've been belong. Uh, we have all the pieces that we that we need. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we have to find a way to come victorious. Um, we have to go back, you know, put in the work again. And at the end of the day, you know, kudos to them. Uh, they did a great job out there, but you know, we have to focus on us. And I know we were talking about you and Terry and shouting you out, you shouting him out. What, what can you say about what this guy did today? Some of the catches he made up there. Uh, man, he, he's a dog at the end of the day. You know, and I have 100% faith in him and what he does and what he brings to the team with the energy. He catches out everything. You know, he helps us out a lot. And at the end of the day, you know, we can expect good things out of the team. Do you feel like you guys came up here and fulfilled what you wanted to get done or not even close? Uh, no, we didn't fulfill what we wanted to get done because we wanted to come away with a win. You know, I mean, there's no more victories in this, but uh, uh, this is definitely something that we're going to be able to learn from going forward. Um, I like the way we, we fought to the end, but uh, yeah, there's no more victories. Uh, you got to give credit to them. That's why they're a championship level team. They made the plays uh, to win the game. They did a good job staying on the field. Uh, they did a, did a good job getting us off the field. So uh, uh, we got a lot to learn from going forward. But uh, you know, we, we came in here and competed at a high level. But uh, other than that, there's no moral victory. You and James, some of the passes, some of the catches, you can really see you getting on the same page. How is that connection growing? Yeah, it's definitely growing, and um, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to see that for not just him and myself, but this entire offense. And um, you know, we just try to be leaders out there. Um, the thing about it is we put a lot of extra work where I'm always constantly talking on and off the field. And it's just cool to see those plays show up in, in, in big moments. Um, we're going to continue to mature and get better with one another. Um, I think he's doing a good job of spreading the ball around as well. There's a lot of guys making plays out there, but um, you know we got to have plays. Um, I know he trusts me, so I just want to be able to come through for my team. And uh, I'm just thankful to be in a position where they trust me in those big moments. Um, 
to have a quarterback like him who's so competitive, who puts in the time and the work, and trusts his guys, that, that makes me want to raise my level of play. And you're starting to see those plays show up. Um, so, um, yeah, we want to continue to keep working at that and try to get better at that. Terry, first time in over a month you guys have lost the football game. What's, what's, what's yeah. the messaging kind of what's going forward here? Yeah, uh, losing sucks. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it sucks. Um, but we don't have a group of guys that are going to hit the head. Um, we got a group of guys that just decide to get back to work. We're excited we to look at the show and all and see how we can uh, be better uh, going forward next week. I think to the top of my head offensively, we just got to be able to find a way to stay always in the field, um, being more third and manageable, um, to just convert better. Uh, but, you know, DQ, um, you just see the look in his eye. He believes in this group that we have. We believe in the group that we have. And uh, we just got to focus on the details going forward. Not that we haven't in the past, but um, when you get into a game like this where it's back and forth, back and forth, those small plays, every play matters. And uh, like I said, you got to get credit to win because they make the plays to win. But uh, we're excited with the group that we got because we know we're going to get back to work a few later. Next week. Uh, Terry, does, with the way you guys play, does it give you reassurance that you can play with anybody in this league? Uh, I think we already Sorry. believe that in ourselves. I think uh, we put the work in um, since we put this team together in the spring. Um, you know, we've challenged one another, uh, often for defense and practice. We've gone to Miami, we've gone to New York, and we hung tough. Um, and, you know, to start this season, we've had ups and downs, but we got a resilient group, so we didn't find anything else about ourselves coming into this game. It wasn't a measuring stick. We felt like if we came in and handled our business, our business, we have a chance to win. Uh, but like I said, you got to give them credit because they're a championship team and they just make the play uh, when it matters. And so um, it's exciting for us because we're a group that's not going to hang our head. We're excited to put the work in. We trust the work that we put in. And sometimes you fall, fall up short, but uh, nobody's hanging their head and, and we're excited for uh, What's the time? It seemed, like, it seemed like the Ravens took away a little bit of Jaden's running lanes today. Do you think that impacted the offense the or like, do you think that was the difference with you know, the Ravens on top? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, could be, but um, I think uh, obviously, you know, we just didn't run the ball like we really wanted to today. Obviously, I think we really uh, benefited from that this season. And, you know, when you miss a guy like uh, B. Rob, that, that definitely hurts your offense. But I think. Anthony J. Matt did a great job stepping up. We just weren't clicking running the ball. And, um, you know, they're what, the top one defense in the league, so we knew it was going to be tough, and we just had to be able to execute in other ways. But um, at the end of the day, we still got to be able to run the ball any that we want to run it. And um, they had a good plan. Um, they executed their plan. And I feel like we made plays as well. We just didn't make enough on to win the game. So um, nobody's hanging their hat in here. I'm excited to get back to work. And uh, I'm eager to, to play with these guys because everybody has that hunger to continue to move forward, learn from it, take the accountability, and so we come back better next week. And uh, we're pushing. Awesome, thanks, thanks Harry. Harry. Thank you, Harry. Played to the level that we can play. Um, talking in the back end and the secondary specifically. Um, a little frustrated right now. Did they do anything different than you expected, or just they executed better than you did? They executed better than we did. Um, you know, as far as the game plan, they did a lot of things that we prepared for. We felt we prepared for, um, but we just got to execute better things. I'm hearing no hanging of heads in this locker room. It's a loss, but you guys were there. You came down to your own execution. Yeah, I mean, it's the NFL. You're not going to win every single game, but you, you can learn from all of them. And it's definitely something we're going to learn from and you know, get back to work tomorrow. We're, we're six games into the season here. Obviously, the loss is tough today, but but how do you guys feel about where you're at right now, six games into the year? And is it better than even what you guys expected? Um, I mean, to be real with you, like we, we just want to continue to get better and better. Um, you know, credits to you know the other team today for coming out and playing better than we did for, for 60 minutes. But you know, we everything we want is in front of us, so I know we're gonna come in and continue to work. This defense, you talked about how they made a lot. You guys made a lot of strides the last two weeks. Did you feel like you still made some improvements here this week? And, and obviously having to go against Henry and Lamar and Zay and all that. Uh, I mean, it's tough to say that right now, uh, just because you know, just coming off of it, you really got to go back and look. You know, I watched the whole game through. Um, but I mean, there was there were some positives on the field, and you know, there were some things that we definitely want to clean up. What were the That's positives? The most, uh, actually, you go ahead. Sorry. I was just yeah. going to say, what were you trying to do on defense? Was it to try to stop him or Lamar? Both, both of them. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know what the numbers were, uh, whatever. But, um, I mean, going into game plan, like, it is, it's Lamar and Derrick Henry. That's what it is. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at it and we'll, we'll get better from it for sure. You've been through this drill before. So, you, know, you guys are going along and you 
what you come away feeling what after, after this game? You know it's an hour after a game. What do you come away feeling? Um, feeling like the stuff that we need to clean up. Uh, feeling like uh, defense, we could have been in a position to make some plays to get the ball back to the offense. Um, and, uh, yeah. Right. Did they do anything different at all, or just did exactly what you expected and was, came down to execution on both sides? Yeah, I don't think they, made, they had a couple of little wrinkles, but nothing nothing too crazy. I mean, you know, they got uh, eight and 22, you know, and you got to figure out a way to stop them. And, and um, you know, regardless of what they put in, they're going to try to get them the ball. So. How hard was it for you guys? You know, you want to try and take away the run, but they're hitting them pass. How hard was it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, when you get the the run game going, then it kind of opens up everything for them. And so uh, we need to do a better job in, in uh, taking away the run and, and uh, you know, finally get some pressure. Facing a dynamic offense like that, coming within seven points, what do you feel like you guys learned from today and how much do you think this can help you guys going forward? Uh, you know, we learned that uh, when you play a good team like that, you can't, uh, you can't hurt yourself, uh, whether it's penalties, whether it's miscommunication, things like that. And so I think it's, it's all things that are fixable, which I think is, is really good. What is one thing off the top of your head that you would take with the rest of your teammates to talk about? Um, uh, execution and communication. That's the best thing. I feel like we clean that up when we talk. When you were in the Seattle as a younger player, I just wonder how did you guys kind of make those steps that you got better and better and got more cohesion and more experience together to kind of be able to play at an elite level against an elite team? Um, it, it, honestly, it took games like this, you know, um, where you kind of hurt yourself a little bit, whether it's penalties, whether it's missing things of that nature. And uh, you go back, you uh, hold yourself accountable. Um, you got the right men to hold yourself accountable and everybody gets back into the drawing board. Don't hold your head down and just, and just grow. I mean, Every player can grow, um, so make us that much better. And so I, I feel we got those guys. How do you balance with it? You guys are starting to play better the last couple weeks, defensive more consistent. This being a one-game thing versus turning it into something else. Uh, we gotta we gotta look ourselves in the mirror, hold ourselves accountable, um, and then we just make sure we fix the things that we see on film. And I feel like as long as that happens, we'll be fine. Last one, Mike Sayers, still the guy's first career interception. What to say about what he's been able to do here this season? Man, he's been great. You know, the moment he came in, he's been uh, really smart, pick up the defense, uh, really fast, very smart. Um, you know, fly around. I think in the last week you saw he's willing to, to put his body into the run game. And so, you know, I think he's getting better every week. And it's uh, fun to watch. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Love seeing the design of the flea flicker into the screen. What, oh, yeah. what did you think oh, when yeah. you first saw that? Yeah, I was like, okay, we're getting creative out here. You know, I love Cliff, you know, trying to dial it up, and uh, we made it work. Uh, actually, we weren't expecting that we didn't have any rules for if the backer flitches off the edge. We kind of improvised and um, made it work. I, you know, I picked him up. Jeremy flips it back. Then he goes and picks him up. Then he throws him the ball at the same time. So it was, it was pretty cool. Was that your first time ever in that type of flea flicker? Like usually it's going downfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little deception there. You know, like I said, Cliff was dialing some stuff up. So always want to you know, keep the defense on their toes. So that was just an opportunity for us. Does it make it easier at all when the other teams, who they are, obviously Super Bowl contenders? You guys hung with them for most of the game. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not in the business for hanging with people, man. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, we're trying to win games. You know, we're, we're here. To, that's our job. That's why we're here. And that's what we get paid to do. So out there competing win games. So um, hanging with people is, is not going not gonna to do well for us at the end of the year. That's all we're doing. So yeah. much positive club on your quarterback. What did you notice from him in that second half? A guy who's facing adversity at the NFL level for the first time. Competitor, man. Competitor. You know, getting guys lined up, urgency, tempo. So everything we want to see from him, he's been out there doing it. So looking forward to playing.